Hi, my name is John Savile and what I wanted to cover in this session was just some best practices about how to use a whiteboard in your pre oh, hold on. My bad, uh, I left the lens cap on. So as I was saying, I wanted to talk about some best practices about actually using a whiteboard. And all jokes aside, uh, I'm not an expert at this stuff at all, but I've been doing it a while now and a number of people ask me just what are some of the key considerations I think about when I'm giving a whiteboard based presentation. Now a lot of normal considerations apply just when you present. Um, tell them what you're going to tell them, tell them, tell them what you've told them. Be yourself, especially when I'm in front of a camera it can be very tempting to just go off and become a robot. Um, try and be something you're not. And that's really going to lead to failure. People won't like it. If I try and be something other than who I am, I will start to come across as very monotone. I will just focus on transferring the content. No one can listen to that. No one will follow anything you're saying. They don't understand what's important and what isn't. I need fluctuation. If something's important, then I'll raise my voice. I'll stress that point. So you really get that, hey, this is a key point of what's being communicated to me. Don't go too fast, don't go too slow. Try and relax. When I talk in front of a camera, I really just try and imagine I'm talking to a couple of people I know and I'm just trying to transfer some information. Make it simple. I'm not trying to prove how smart I am. I'm trying to convey information to someone else to help them. If I can't explain it simply, I probably don't understand it well enough. Uh, Einstein said that, I believe. But when I'm in front of a camera, think of the framing of it. So in advance, you can turn it around so I can see what I'm seeing. You want to make sure you're in the frame. There's nothing more distracting than I'm talking like this. So here I am, I want to talk about this technology. And you're like, well, where is he? Where's he gone? Is it a magic trick? Is he suddenly going to appear and amaze me again? Look at the camera. It can be tempting to just stare at the screen the whole time, which is right next to it but the eyes will be off. People always wonder, well, what's he staring at over there? So focus at looking at actually the camera. You might have notes, uh, and that's great. Try not to put them at the side over here, because then constantly my gaze is constantly shifting. If you have notes, by all means have them, but try and put them towards the camera. I tend to put things just below the camera, and they're key points. I'm not reading from a script. They're key things I want to focus on. If I'm right-handed, I'm going to stand on the right side of the screen. Because when we write, I can write like this. I can draw things, and I can still be talking to the camera very easily. If I was to stand on this side and write, I have to give you my full back every time I try to do something. So if I'm left-handed, I'm going to stand on the left side of the screen. Right-handed, stand on the right side of the screen. And again, I'm talking to people. I'm conveying some information. Why don't we just use PowerPoint? Why am I whiteboarding at all? If I use a PowerPoint, there's a number of challenges with it. PowerPoint tends to lead me. I put something up, I'm following the PowerPoint. I'm not driving the conversation. The PowerPoint is, and I'm kind of just adding some bits. When I whiteboard, I'm telling the story. You're focusing on what I'm saying. And the whiteboard is really just there to stress certain details about what I'm doing. There's another challenge with a whiteboard on how you might use it. And a problem with PowerPoint. Negative demonstration. OK, I want to tell you some things. You get the idea. Now, I took time to put a whole bunch of stuff on the board. I've turned around to talk to you. All you've been doing for 20, 30 seconds is getting annoyed that I'm not saying anything. You're bored. You're trying to see what's going on. Now, I want to talk about these things, but I've lost you completely. And that's probably PowerPoint as well. You're just reading what's on the screen, forgetting everything I'm saying, because you're not even hearing me. The same for a whiteboard. Don't turn away from the camera 
for more than a few seconds. And try not to turn away at all. I don't want to give you my back. The sound's not going to work properly, but there's no need for it. I can kind of present this way. I'm still, I can talk and I'm adding key points. If I have to draw something that maybe takes me some time, I can still break it up. Maybe I'm trying to describe networking and I might do it by a street analogy. So say, well, imagine we have a street. So I'll start drawing. They might wonder why a street, well, what's a street? Well, it's a group of houses that are close together. They have close proximity. So I have a street and I have a house. I have another house. And I'll build on that. And when they want to communicate, well, hey, look, there's a friendly person here. And they can deliver things directly to the other house. We're going to see the same thing in computers. I'll use it just to stress certain points about what I'm doing. So don't talk too long while facing away. Don't draw too much in one point. It's there to help me explain something. That's all I'm trying to do with this. I'm the focal point. This is strictly here to help me emphasize key points, giving multiple senses to the person watching. Hey, they're hearing it, but they're seeing it as well. That enforces learning that. I don't want them to conflict with each other. I don't want to put a huge amount of information up here in one big go, my back to the audience, then want to start talking about it. They're reading. They're not hearing anything I'm saying anymore. Start with something you're passionate about. I think that's key. Something you enjoy doing, something you know a lot about. It's very hard to whiteboard something you don't really understand very well or you don't really care about because you're kind of trying to understand it. As you get more experienced, it becomes easier. Even things you're not passionate about, you'll be able to whiteboard and explain those concepts to people. But to start off, a hobby, it doesn't have to be compute related or anything else, something you enjoy doing, just think about how I would explain that to somebody. But again, what is the point of this thing? This is not the point of this thing being, hey, look how smart I am. The point of this thing is a, that's not a mushroom or something weird, I have ideas, I want to transfer that knowledge to all the people watching. They don't care about how smart I am. They care about, can I help them? Can I transfer the information from me to them in as simple as way as possible? And this is just a tool to aid in that. So I hope that helped. Just focus on key things. Stay in the frame. Don't turn your back to people for a long time. This is just there to help me convey the information. What I'm saying, that that's the topic of the point. Look at the lighting. It's unfortunate for me. Um, light's gonna reflect off my head. Hey, that happens. Things go wrong, you leave the lens cap on, a demo doesn't work, you joke about it. Any problem that happens, you're focusing on 100 times more than anyone else. Enjoy yourself. Get out there, just focus on helping people and sharing the information. Thank you.